Welcome to a lesson on transformations. This is an introduction to the unit transformations and I will be looking at an overall um, summary almost of the topics we're going to be covering in this unit. Obviously not going into a whole lot of detail but I will quickly go through everything pretty much that we cover. So there's the unit transformations. Here's the definition. A transformation is a change in a relation's size, orientation, and location. So we're talking about taking a function or a graph and pointing it in a different direction, moving it somewhere else, or changing its size, or all of the above. And there's three major types of transformations. We get translations. Now you would have covered these in 20 pure in one form or the other, but these are basically just a vertical or a horizontal movement where you pick up the graph and you move it to the left, you move it to the right, you move it up or you move it down. Another way to look at it is it's just a change in the graph's position or location. You're not changing the shape of it or the size of it or even the direction that it faces. You're simply moving it picking it up and moving it. The next one is reflections and you would have covered some of these before but not in the same detail that we will this in this course. And the first type of reflection that we will consider is a reflection in the x-axis. Now this can be the, the this will also be referred to as the y equals zero line. And I'm just going to give you an illustration of it without going into much detail. But if you looked at this quadratic function in front of you, and if you were to reflect this in the x-axis, we use the phrase in the x-axis, it will look like this. So it's going to open down. The word, the um, phrase in the x-axis sort of means over or about the x-axis. So this one opens down. But the x-axis was the line that it was reflected in or over. And if you look at the two together, you see this, right? The one opening up, the one opening down. The next one is in the y-axis. This is a square root function. And I'm going to take this graph, which is currently opening to the right, and I'm going to reflect it in the y-axis. And if I do that, it's going to look like this. So it's opening the opposite direction, but it's actually around the y-axis or the x equals zero line, if you prefer, and it therefore is opening um, left instead of uh, right. So if we take a look at the two together, there's the original, and then if you take the mirror image of it over the, the y-axis, it looks like this. Then, if we reflect in the line y equal x, some of you might remember this from 20, I hope you do, as an inverse. And the y equal x line is um, a straight line that goes through quadrants 1 and 3 at a 45 degree angle. You'll see it soon. So here we have a quadratic function with a slight vertical translation. It's opening upwards. And if we were to reflect this in the line y equal x, or if you prefer take the inverse of it, um, you can see, and I've got everything on this picture, I've got the y equal x line, and that's the one we reflected, or we took the mirror image of it, and you can see the reflected graph, if you tilt your head and look at this one straight up and down that line, you'll see that those two curves are perfectly symmetric about the y equal x line. So even though this isn't a new concept, we, I'll cover it in a little bit more detail than you probably are used to. Then we have stretches. This is the third type of transformation. We have vertical stretches, which you would have seen before. And if you were to look at another ordinary quadratic such as this, a vertical stretch simply means that we're either squeezing it downwards or together, or we're pulling it. So I, the way I've got this one illustrated is that I'm, the arrow is going up and down to indicate it's vertical. But whatever the direction up or down, it's being pulled or compressed or expanded in the vertical direction. So in other words, you're going to make the graph narrower or you're going to make it wider. 
that's a very rough way of looking at it, and it would be true in this case. But as you'll see when we cover it, it's, it's, it's a little more sophisticated than that. Horizontal stretches have sort of the same idea. And if we take a look at the same old quadratic such as this, um, this time the horizontal stretches means that it's either being stretched away or towards, but horizontally. So in this one, I've got it pulled away from the y-axis. And that would be a horizontal stretch about the y-axis, or in the y-axis. It could also be going towards it. And again, we will be covering this in a lot of detail. This is just a rough overview. And the other one, which I'm not going to illustrate, is a stretch about other lines. This is kind of a special topic. And we'll be looking at it towards the end of the unit. Now that more or less covers everything that we're doing. There's a few smaller topics and there's obviously lots of examples of each type, but uh, that is an overview of the unit. Thank you for your time.